Welcome back to the walkthrough on creating custom ZMech animations in 3ds Max for Unreal 4. In this video, we will learn how to export our finished animations from 3ds Max and then import that data into Unreal 4 onto our mech character. Let's begin by opening the custom animation we just created in 3ds Max. Alright, I'll check that the animation is working correctly. Yep, he's doing his little yoga pose. So let's start by pressing Control A to select all of the rig objects. Uh, the mesh doesn't need to be included when exporting for uh, just the animation sequences. Also, it's worth double checking that there are no keyframes outside our visible timeline. So I'm going to do a Control Alt right click and just check to make sure that I don't have any um, junk frames. The reason for this is because the exporter doesn't actually look at what your visible timeline is. So I, if I have it end at frame 40 here, and it sees a frame off at frame 150, um, it's still going to export frame 0 through 150 just because it sees that frame there. It doesn't respect the, the actual timeline. But just so you're aware of that, if you have extra frames out there, those will be included. So make sure it's just the frames that you want are on the, in your scene. Um, so with all the objects selected, let's go to File, Export, Export Selected. I'm actually going to put it into my export for Unreal Animations folder with the other ones. So I'm going to call this um, Yoga Sun Salutation. Perfect. So I'm going to click Save. And now we get our FBX export options. So the geometry par portion, that's mostly for models. Uh, that doesn't have much to do, or that's not very relevant here um, with this. Uh, the one that matters is that we want to have animation checked on. Um, and down here, this cat characters is HIK. I don't know what this does, but it gives me less errors when I have it on, and it works with it on, so I guess just leave it on. Um, the FBX file format is the last of the useful things here. Um, the version, FBX 2013, that's the recommended format for exporting to Unreal. You'll notice that I could have had it set to 2014, uh, but at least at the time that I researched this, 2013 was the recommended one. But if you're using an older version of Max and you can't uh, do that one, I don't think you'll have any problems by selecting an older, older form of FBX. I think it all will work okay. This is, like I said, the recommended one. So with all those set, I'll click OK and we'll export our file. It'll give you a little error saying that the character is not recognized as a valid biped. Um, that's OK. So click OK. And we've exported our animation. So now we're done in Max. So let's head over to Unreal and look at how to bring it in and play it on our character. OK, so in Unreal, I'm going to use the scene we set up in the previous video with the textured model using the idle animation sequence. I'll stop the game. Importing the animation is really easy. Um, we'll do it the same way we did the other one for the idle. I'm going to open my poses here. I'm going to find my export for Unreal animations. And here's our yoga sun salutation. So I'm simply going to take that and drag it in with my other files and animations. So here we get our options. I'll import a skeletal. And good, it switched to the skeleton mode, so it recognized that as an animation file. So I can pick my rigged mesh skeleton object. And it'll do export of time, everything's looking good, so I'll import that. So now I can select my object here, or my character in the scene, and my anim to play, I'm just going to drag in my yoga sun salutation. So now let's simulate that, and there he goes. We can see our animation working correctly on our character. It's looping and it is working exactly how we had planned it out in, uh, in Max. So I'm going to stop that. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. If you purchase the finished textured model from the Unreal Marketplace, he'll come into your scene all ready to go, and he'll be ready to be linked up as a uh, blueprint third-person template character. So now let's simulate our game. While this is good for previewing your animation, but if you really want to have it shine, I really recommend that you buy the fully textured model from the Unreal Marketplace. And look at the difference in quality between the preview model here and here, the finished high-res normal mapped model with metallic spec and roughness maps. 
it really makes a big difference, especially if I zoom in on the characters. And you can see the light interacting with them. The preview model is very flat, um, and the shading you're getting is just from the model itself. It, but in the high-res model, you're getting the roughness, you're getting the light hitting and glancing off of it from the normal map, um, and it'll just interact with lighting much better. So I think that wraps up this video. Exporting to FBX is an easy and smooth way to get models and animations from Max into the Unreal Editor, and you can use these techniques to create more animated characters and props for your video games. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned from it, please pass the free content and information along to any video game animation students and developers that you might know. It would be great to spread the word on how easy it is to get started creating and implementing artwork into the Unreal Engine. I appreciate the help. Good luck to you, and thanks for watching.